Alien Encounter It seems to be the next thing to happen. The governments and social medias, as well as traditional news, are raising awareness over UFO sites, the current health conditions of the planet, and the release of UFO videos by the Pentagon, has pulled the trigger to the UFO community to look to the skies more than ever. However, before we can speak of new encounters, let us talk about the previous ones in history and see what we got out of them. History has taught us how fragile is human awareness. Aliens, the gods of past civilizations, have stopped humans' full spiritual potential by slowing the evolution of our mind. Many civilizations were given knowledge in exchange of obedience. Egypt, Mesopotamia, the Indus Valley, Peru, China, and Mexico were the six cradles of civilization. Today we will remind you of the oldest civilization that created the chaos that we live in. The Sumerians. According to the linguist Sitchin, the Sumerian tablets speak of the creation of primitive workers, who had to endure the work of the gods in the gold mines. These heavenly creatures that descended from the skies, came to this world, seeking salvation for their planet. However, their yoke was heavy. Their labor was painful. And they demanded a solution. Men was born. Half alien, half earthling. Genesis 2-7 and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Men reproduced fast in no time. Their conscience grew stronger. Their DNA changed due to alien and hybrids intercourse. Genesis 6-2 The sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful, and they took as wives whomever they chose. With the passing of time, the new species gained strength. They revealed from the hard work of the mines. Some escaped, some raised against the aliens. The aliens were not able to control the human masses. Their conscience was open to the truth. They had no choice but to give men civilization. In exchange, they became gods. The aliens' gods created religion, as cults from men to gods. Polytheism was born, and it expanded over the known world of Mesopotamia. This new race of gods, seized humans as their worshippers. The humans raised temples for them. In exchange, they received knowledge of the gods. However, that knowledge was to suppress human souls and consciousness to keep us asleep as much time as possible. Only a few selected humans were ascended to a higher level of knowledge. The priests. The Great Flood, known by all cultures in the world. It was caused by the arrival of alien God's planet. A planet that orbits our sun every 3,600 years. Humans became a threat. The alien gods, knowing about the chaos that was coming our way, decided to stay silent and let the flood take care of humans' extinction. Nevertheless, there were survivors. But human lives became shorter over time. Would that be the result of animal meat introduction to an herbivore creature? Knowledge known by these alien gods that allowed it in order to manipulate the longevity of humanity. 
Humans are not equipped to be carnivore. However, we were introduced to a meat diet. We contaminated our bodies with food not intended for us. The attempt of annihilation. The effort to make us live a shorter life. Was not an impediment for humans to reach their dreams. Human conscience was evolving, and together they were unstoppable. They all had one thing in mind. They all wanted to reach the stars. Working together in one thought and one feeling. They built the Tower of Babylon. It was nothing less than a spaceport to launch ships into the skies and be like the gods. The alien gods did not see with good eyes the intentions of men. Men with advanced conscience, united for the first time and ready to reach their dreams. The alien gods descended to earth, confused human language and fragmented their union. Divide and conquer. Does that sound familiar? Humans were never allowed to work together again without supreme supervision. The alien gods spread humans around the world and make them work in separate groups. Secrecy and division have been an effective weapon. Even in current times, all mayor corporation built their technology in separate places to avoid the rays of any lower rank humans. All humanity was built under a hierarchy. You can see it all over the world. The symbol of their power is the same in all cultures. Ancient civilizations had physical sight of their empire through the pyramids. In current times, our systems are based on the same structure. Power from top to bottom, as the ancient pyramids, and above all, a space being feeding humans the same BS in a different way. Social networks, news, and radio speak of changes coming our way. Some in favor, others not so much. However, if we are not awake, the only change we will see is how they change the names to things. Keeping the old system running for more years to come. The Sumerian story is about the same for all civilizations. The Mayans, the Egyptians, the Incas, and all the ancient civilizations of the world have records of the Great Flood, the gods of the havens, the promise of their return, the pyramids, and many more tales. This is just evidence that old knowledge is disguised as new information. The real change comes from within. History repeats itself. It gives us the information we need to advance into a better future. Your conscience was designed to connect to the source of everything. It is your divine right to grab what is yours from the universe. But it is your human obligation to share what you have acquired for the progress of all. Now that we know of past alien interactions, are we ready to contact? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, so we can help others grow with us.